Hey, are you a business owner, entrepreneur, or professional? If so, we want you to apply to be a featured guest on our show. My name is Adam Torres, and I host the Mission Matters series of podcasts. I've recorded over 3,000 episodes, and we are just getting started. How do you know if you'd be a good guest to be on the show? Well, only one way to find out, and that's to apply, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We want guests that have a story to tell, guests with a brand, a product, or a service that can benefit my audience of listeners. If this sounds like you, go to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. I'd love to talk to you and get to know more about your story. Again, head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, now let's get into the show. Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Sachin Bakai on the line, and he is founder and CEO over at Law KPIs. Sachin, welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, Adam. Thank you for having me. All right, so today's topic, law firms, profitable growth made easy. I think it's a great topic, and I don't know if there's any law firms listening that wouldn't want to find out how to get more profitable growth. So um, I think maybe just to get us started here, uh, tell us a little bit more about Law KPIs as a company overall and what you do. Yeah, absolutely. So Law KPIs was designed out of necessity. So one of my manufacturing clients, his law firm was struggling with uh, having good matrix in order to measure that firm. They engaged us to build the KPIs for them, and that turned into a product. So now we help a lot of small and mid-sized law firms get better understanding on how their firms are doing, what is working within that firm, what is not working, so that they can actually grow, and not just grow, but grow profitably. Man, I love that you say grow profitably, and uh, I think every business at a certain point um, has to really, if they don't have, if they don't have control over the measures, then they may revenue may be growing, but is it profitable? I mean, that's one of the things that when we first start here, we're, we're we're struggling at as we see things happening, but we're like, but are we making more money ultimately? We know we're, we're bringing more in, but is more going out? Like, and that's one of those things um, to to have to be able to have the levers and to be able to control the data um, and make. Maybe this is um, a good transition. I mean, why is this data so important for law firms? Because I feel like maybe law firms in the past, not all, I shouldn't stereotype, but in the past it was it was it wasn't, you know, data wasn't paid attention to quite as much. It was thought that that was, you know, for tech companies or like these or these new startups or other things, but the law business is considered very, you know, traditional in many cases. So why is data so important specifically for law firms? Well, it, it is extremely important, especially in this this time, because you know everybody is working with multiple different systems. Every system that they use uh, is actually on cloud, and the data is spread across multiple different applications. And it is becoming very difficult for a small law firm to justify to have an in-house IT team who can actually consolidate all this information for them to be able to make meaningful decisions. So a lot of law firms, right, they, they rely on uh, the traditional ways of referrals and stuff like that, but they don't know which referral source is actually generating more business for them. They offer free conversations and free consultations, but how many of the free consultations are actually converting into real clients? Which areas of their practice is converting? And most law firms, they spend a lot of money on Google and Facebook AdWords, so it is extremely important for them to track the ROI, right? Spend that they're doing in marketing, what is the revenue that it's generating, and is the cases that they are getting, is it worth it? It is uh, profitable or not, right? So there's data is all over the place, and it is extremely important for them to understand it because without understanding, they're just spending marketing money, and somebody actually wrote a book flushing the money in toilet. If you don't understand mm-hmm. where where and how you're spending your marketing money. Absolutely. 
And so what are, what are some of those, um, those common KPIs that you feel that all, I mean, now that you, you, you've designed the product, you, you're doing it daily, you're helping law firms. What are some of those key KPIs that law firms, um, should, should consider tracking? So one, uh, what we constantly help our clients with is understanding the profitability for a flat fee matter, right? A lot of firms now, they're actually moving from, uh, the regular hourly to a flat fee, fee project base, but you don't know. You keep working on those projects. You don't know whether the project is actually profitable or not. You, it's very hard for them to understand what should be, what is the ideal price that they should uh, offer their clients as a fixed fee. So that is one of the KPIs that we help track. The second very critical one is the utilization, right? The attorneys are super busy, but how many hours and what percentage of their day is actually utilized towards billable work? So it helps them understand where they're spending the time, what they need to do to gain efficiency, and what are the tasks they can either eliminate, automate, or delegate in order for them to increase their utilization. So, I mean, everything that you're saying sounds great, by the way, and, and I think a lot of the people listening, it ha- it's not that it hasn't occurred to them that they need to track their data. I think sometimes when it, like, there's a little bit of fear of barrier of entry. So, like, like how long is this going to take, like, implementing this? Like, we know we should do it, but we're busy doing this, this, and this. Like, uh, you know, it's just one of those things when something's new. What does it take for a law firm that comes to you and they're, they're, they're kind of fresh and they're saying, you know, we need help, we know what you do, um, we want to start tracking these things like how long does it take to implement a system like like the ones that you're speaking of that's just, that's a great question and that is you know the reason why a lot of law firms they fear oh this is not for me we are too small and you know uh, we should we can't afford to implement this and that is why law kpis is designed where we do all the heavy lifting all we need is access to their system and we will configure all the 35 plus KPIs out of the box based on the data that they have in their system. So we do all the heavy lifting and within a week's time, uh, they're up and running. Oh, and wow. Part so of it's in it, one week. That, that's amazing. So you're making it too easy for them, Sachin. <laughs> because what, what I've learned is the adaption is very important for them, right? Because if mm-hmm. I make it very painful for them, uh, they're not going to use it, and this will be another subscription which will be there, and you know, uh, no, no, nobody uses it or benefits mm-hmm. from it. Mm-hmm. So it is in in our interest and their interest that you know they use it. And another thing, what we do to make their life easy is we have automated a lot of the process. So some of mm-hmm. the KPIs which they care to look at it on a weekly or a monthly basis. We have a scheduler in our system where they can go and schedule it so the information is fed to them. They don't have to go hunt for information. Wow, that's awesome. Um, So, Sachin, that being said, um, uh, final question, two-part question. Um, so there's some law firms listening right now that could definitely benefit from your from your services, but I do want to make sure that the right types of uh, firms follow up with you. So first part of the question is, um, what are typically the right types of uh, firms that get the most value from working with you and your team over at Law KPIs, uh, number one? And number two, what's the best way for them to reach out? So, so we have designed this for small and mid-sized law firm, but what we have we have make, made it very affordable for solo law firms also who are looking to grow right if the law firm is not of a growth mindset they may not appreciate our solution so we're looking for any law firm who is looking to who is growing and is looking to grow and the best way to reach out to us is uh, fill out for a trial uh, for our solution at lawkpis.com Fantastic. Well, Sachin, really been a pleasure having you on the show today and learning more about what you're doing over at Law KPIs and how you're helping your clients. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, uh, hit that subscribe button. Definitely want you to be a return uh, listener. Uh, We have more great guests just like Sachin coming up for you and don't want you to miss any of that good stuff. Um, And Sachin, thanks again for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure having you on. Right. Thank you, Adam, for having me, and you have a wonderful show. Thank you so much.